Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are going to talk about Planet Zoo and its future DLCs and how likely or not it is that we could see an aviaries pack or an aquarium pack in the future. Now, <laughs> looking at this uh, screenshot, I should be very ashamed of myself, according to Mike and Eben, two of the lovely people we are creating Koali Zoo with. Uh, so yeah, I'm very ashamed for never making a speculation video. <laughs> so yeah, prepare everyone, because here we go, my first Planet Zoo speculation video ever, and who knows, maybe also my last. <laughs> But please do keep in mind, I do not have any inside information from Frontier, so everything we discuss in this video is pure speculation from my side and should always be taken with a little grain of salt and not take this for granted or that these are facts or anything like that. Purely speculation from my side. But seriously though, after more than two years getting several DLCs, of which we all could kind of predict what the next one one could be, especially the last year. You all did such a great job with predicting the North America and the Europe pack. I was actually really amazed about that. I was just screaming the whole time, I want aviaries, I want a cray. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys were actually being like, no, we're getting a North America pack probably or a Europe pack. And well, we, we both got those now and now it is a new year. So the question now is, will Frontier continue with these type of packs? Like, could we think of maybe an Oceania pack or like a Central or North Asia pack or maybe a South Central America pack, something in that range? There are still quite some options left for these type of DLCs, I think. But it could also be that Frontier will change their DLCs to things like more of an Amazon or Rainforest pack, or maybe, for example, more general, like a desert pack or a tropical pack, for example. There are definitely still a lot of options left, and I'm very curious to see what kind of approach Frontier is going to take with this new year of DLCs. Like, what we do know, thanks to the people that data mined the case, <laughs> is that we will get at least four more DLCs this year. And I am expecting if sales continue to do well this year for Planet Zoo, that we might even see some more DLCs in 2023. But for now, we pretty much know that there are going to be four more DLCs at least for Planet Zoo. So I am obviously very excited for that. So it could be that starting this year, Frontier may be taking like a different direction with DLCs, as I just said. Like, obviously many Planet Zoo players at this point are still hoping for an aviaries pack or an aquarium pack. But I also do notice in my comment section that the longer these things take, the more people are kind of losing hope for these type of packs, which is actually quite a pity, honestly, because I do feel that even though things are indeed taking very long at this point, we still know there are at least four more DLCs launching this year, so four more chances to get an aviaries pack or an aquarium pack. And if anything, we do know so far that Frontier does listen to our wishes for the game so far, and with almost every pack that launched the past few years, Frontier did a great job in adding things or animals in the game that a lot of people of the community requested. Like, obviously, you can never please everyone, but I do think that Frontier is doing a fantastic job of giving the majority of the community what they have been requesting the past few years, the past few months uh, for the game. So yeah, I might be the only one still left here, but I actually do still keep some hope for a cool aviaries or a crime pack. And obviously, I do hope for both still in the future. And who knows, like, were those little eggs we got with the free update next to the Europe pack not a little hint or Easter egg to the upcoming DLC that we will be seeing probably at the end of March or like the beginning of April? Would that not be like the coolest little hint ever to the upcoming DLC if it would be have something to do with birds, for example? 
Like, we obviously have to wait and see if this is going to be the case, but I will be super happy if it will finally be time for a cool aviaries pack with like a variety of actual flying birds. And this was that little hint that Frontier added in the Euro pack. Like, just think about it. There are eggs in the free update next to the Euro pack, but the Euro pack did not have any birds in them. Um, it could definitely be a hint, doesn't it? But yeah, we just really have to wait and see, I guess. But I mean, like, take Jurassic World Evolution 1 and Jurassic World Evolution 2, they both now have aviaries. So we know that Frontier has the game mechanics and they know a way of how to create flying animals in general. Like, wouldn't it be the most silliest thing ever of a company knowing and having the mechanics and talent to not add flying birds in a very successful zoo game? Game, they are still developing. Like, I don't know how you all think about this, but I really, really, really would find this such a weird thing if they would not add flying birds in an actual zoo game while they are creating a different type of game with dinosaurs and they have aviaries and flying animals. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me if they will be finishing Planet Zoo in a year or maybe in two years without adding flying birds. While it's so common to see in zoos and they just know how to do it. And I also do think like marketing and sales wise for the game, it would just be such a huge step forward for the game. And I, I think it would definitely bring back like a lot of players that maybe have left the game like a year back or so, because they really would have loved to see something really new in the game, such as these flying birds with like aviaries or something like a actual aquariums with full aquatic animals. So okay, let's talk about aquariums for a little bit. I mean, how far off are we actually of getting some really cool deep diving animals that simply do not live on land? We could think of animals such as several types of sharks, like a hammerhead or a nurse shark, maybe stingrays, manatees, eels, piranhas, or maybe even koi fish to put in your rivers or ponds around your zoo. Wouldn't that be just super awesome? Now we will be leaving out animals here such as orcas, dolphins, belugas and those kind of animals. Like I know these are some highly requested animals in part of the community, but they are also very controversial nowadays. So I do think it would be just great if Frontier would provide the game with some great aquarium animals and let modders then provide the community with these type of more controversial animals with like the mechanics of the animals of an aquarium pack. In this way, there is no need for Frontier to put themselves in like this a bit complicated spot maybe by adding two controversial animals. Like I know this might be a very unpopular opinion among some people inside of the Planet Zoo community, but I am saying this as a huge, like huge orca lover myself and I think this might be the best way to handle it honestly to keep everyone in the community happy. Like I do really think that modders can do a great job with adding these animals in the game in the future when they are simply provided with the right animal mechanics. Like, I do know, of course, that there are already, like, dolphins, orcas, and sharks that you can download as mods already for the game. And they look really great, honestly. But their behavior at this point just doesn't feel right, in my opinion. So we could definitely use some more help here of Frontier by just providing some better animations and mechanics to make these type of animals behave more realistic. And then, like, I, I think when modders are able to create more realistic type of more controversial animals and people can download them for free, I think that would be just the best solution and then Frontier of course giving us a cool aquarium pack with like some really great non-controversial animals that is. Like since the end of 2020 we got like the first aquatic pack and after that we got more animals uh, either updated in the game with like deep diving and we got more aquatic animals in newer packs so you can really tell that Frontier is constantly working on making the game better and make the animations better of already added animals in the game and animals they add new to DLC. So like take Jurassic World Evolution 2 for example, they now also have full aquatic animals. So 
I say it again, just like I just did with the aviaries. We know Frontier has the mechanics and the animations. We know that they know how to do it. So why would they decide to not add these type of animals as well in their successful zoo game? Like, of which it just makes total sense to add full aquatic animals as well as they are just so common in a modern zoo. They know how to make animals deep dive. They know from Jurassic World Evolution to make complete full aquatic animals already. So all they now need to do is like create a different keeper's gate maybe that would be connected to a glass wall above the water surface for example. And to make sure that the keepers are able to give these full aquatic animals food like to create some kind of animation for that like we already have the aquatic feeders of which the keepers just fill them from a distance or like from the edge of the water or something like that so honestly like how far off are we really in getting full aquatic animals at this point now one thing that makes me unsure are aquarium exhibits. It really sounds so easy when you say it at first. Just give us some aquarium exhibits with some nice coral decorations and a variety of fish or maybe like a sea turtle or an octopus or like seahorses for example. But one thing that is holding me back of this thought is the fact that reptiles and bugs in exhibits don't move from their spot. Like most exhibit animals sit completely still, which worries me a little bit thinking of aquarium exhibits. Like I could see a seahorse or even an octopus stay pretty still on their spot, but just some simple fish like for example a clownfish or a blue tang fish, they have to move around a little bit in their aquarium else it just wouldn't make much sense to me honestly. So yeah, I honestly don't know if this is something Frontier will be working on and, and change this in the future. I would really love some cool aquarium exhibits in an aquarium pack, but I'm really not sure how I would feel about them when fish don't move, they, that they would just sit still on their spot. Like I really do hope Frontier will make sure they do move if they decide to give us these aquarium exhibits in the future. So yeah, despite the aquarium exhibits, of which I'm not sure of, I personally do find it still very likely that in the future we could see both an aviaries pack or an aquarium pack. Like, as I just really would find it super strange if Frontier would not use their experience from Jurassic World Evolution into Planet Zoo and give the whole game another great marketing and sales boost and just make so many people in the community just super happy. It's like a win-win for or everyone at this point. But I could also see a possibility of maybe a South Central America pack next. Like we did get some data mining leaks last year of like a potential capybara being added into the game. But I do have to add to this. I remember back with the Planet Zoo beta that data miners also find like a list of many animals that will come into the base game. And back then most of the animals were indeed added. But one animal, the Emperor a penguin was also in that list and as we all know until this date we have not seen the emperor penguin this could either mean that the emperor penguin did not make it into the game at all like they just scrapped it or they changed the emperor penguin to the king penguin which we later got in the aquatic pack or the emperor penguin is still somewhere waiting to be added in a future pack like maybe an antarctica pack for example like we can only guess that this point what happened with the emperor penguin but the conclusion we can take from this is that even information found in data mining you should always take with a little bit of grain of salt because i don't think we can take conclusions too fast even though many things from data mining could definitely be true and were definitely true there's always a possibility that frontier decides to change some things and just like the emperor penguin it's just still not being added into the game and and we just don't know why <laughs> So yeah, as I already said, like the next DLC will probably be dropping end of March or like beginning of April latest. Like you notice simply just by looking at the frontier roadmaps of how they uploaded Planet Coaster updates and DLCs, Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2 updates and DLCs, Planet Zoo DLC launch dates itself. So yeah, we can basically predict that the next DLC will be at the end of March, beginning of April. So hopefully in a few weeks, we will hear more about a free update at first and then a few days or like a week later we will hear more about the next DLC. But yeah, the question is what is it going to be?
Gosh, I can actually keep going now with this speculation video. It's honestly a lot of fun, uh, surprisingly. <laughs> so I should officially thank Mike and Evan for telling me to shame on myself. And I actually should really thank them now for inspiring me to step up and make this speculation video for you all. <laughs> Like, I'm obviously very curious what you all think of everything I just mentioned in this video. And also do let me know what type of DLCs you think we will see this year and what type of animals are still high on your list that you would love to see added into the game as well. I look very much forward to read all your comments, of course. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Because if you like to see more Planet Zoo content, I definitely have you covered on the channel. Please, again, do keep in mind that this video was purely speculation from my side. And by no means I have any inside information of Frontier. So please take everything with a little grain of salt as I might be completely wrong with my speculations here. But obviously, I do really hope I am not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but we shall have to wait and see about that. Thank you all so much for watching. And I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.